in this glove unboxing preview video and size and fit video we're going to take a closer look at the brand new Nike Mercurial Touch Elite goalkeeper gloves. There is no question it's one of the most talked about gloves uh, this year, 20, 2018, um, and it's a, it's a really good glove. I tried on the previous colourway, but I've got the Vault yellow green colourway. Comes in this box. Let's take a look at the glove. It's got some nice detail on the back of the packaging about the gloves, the all condition control, what that technology is, how good it is in the wet and the dry. And it also takes a, takes a look at little close-ups of, of the glove. But let's take a proper close-up of the glove. Let's talk about the fit, the feel, the sizing. First impressions, it's extremely lightweight. There's, there's nothing much to this glove at all. Any bulk and excess has been stripped away from this glove. I've got a size 8. I would always wear a size 8 in Nike gloves. And that's where I started with the, uh, with the last colourway. Initial entry is quite tight. It's quite a long fitting glove. It is quite tight. I've got skinny wrists and that's fairly tight. It's like a neoprene that they've used across the base there. But the foam's really tacky from the off as well. That's one thing you notice straight away. Just getting your hands in the gloves is the, is the big issue. I mean, I really like the fit. I think it's a very, very nice fitting glove. It's a, it's a weird glove because you kind of, you look at it and think, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be tight. It's not gonna give you that fit and support around the wrist. I don't have a major issue with it. I, I, I love the fit of it. I, for me, it fits as good as any Nike glove I've put on my hand in, in many a years. I love the, the fit of the new um, Vapor Grip 3 and the way they've streamlined it, made it a little bit tighter and compact. And again, this follows this more tailored, tighter fit of a glove. The negative cuts very, very well executed. It's, they're not stubby fingers, nice, they fit. The gussets are very tight. They've used a, a neoprene in the gussets. Show you a closer look there, but there's not a textile material. It looks text, textile material on a lot of the images, um, but it's, it's one of the nicest gussets I found on a negative cut. There's obviously negative cut on the top, so everything's stitched in. It's seamless. It's so well put together. It is very, very nice. This um, this backhand is used. Well, I've never seen it used on a goalkeeper's glove before, but it's like a underneath. There's a, a neoprene which has had um, it's had it pumped uh, with holes to give ventilation into the glove, which is a which is a nice feature because I've not had these gloves on particularly long now, and they. And, your hands are going to get hot on them. There's no question. All this neoprene, all this latex, it is going to make for a, a pretty hot, sweaty glove. The only area that's kind of kind of strange on the glove is this area across the two middle knuckles. There's a bit of stitching going on there. You can kind of see that, but I don't really feel it's giving me a major issue. It's obviously, where they've kind of just pieced the, the fingers together to give it a bit of strength. There's no extra protection in there. It's just a, a better maybe a better stitch to just help support, I guess. But it, it just feels so so lightweight for me. The foam is just tacky from the off. A bit of a pre-wash, these will really, really come alive. Different uh, logos on the back end. You've got the Mercurial logo, which features on the right hand, and the full swoosh across the, uh, across the left hand there. Striking design. Got to say that this uh, Vault colorway is a real standout on pitch. It does look good. That you've seen a few of the few of the Nike pros training in the gloves. You've seen a few wear it in match, and their feedback. You know, you, you can see some of Jack Rutland's comments. So on the Nike website, he was really impressed with the fit. Not seen him use it in loads of uh, matches yet. He's still preferring to go with the with the latex strap on it. It'd be interesting to see how this weathers over time and over use. Does it stretch? Does it lose its its tightness? Because at the moment, it is tight. I'd love to hear feedback. Um, you guys that maybe had them for a while um, or purchasing them at the moment or just purchased them, to give, give me some feedback, sort of five, six games time. Just And for, it's not just for me, but for other people um, across the world that want to know about the fit and, and the you know the, the lifespan of it and, and how it performs in the, in the wet and the dry. 
it'd be all feedback is really really positive because I'm kind of giving you the feedback and the idea on the fits and the feels of what it's like at brand new but what does it feel like a little bit further down the line fit wise I'm like I think that is the good as any size 8 fit for me or any goalkeeper glove fit for me like everything's perfect I've got nothing on the end there I'm like really happy with the fit on those there's no issue for me whatsoever size 8 thumbs perfect fingers are perfect it's just so well executed it's a great goalkeeper's glove so hats off to Nike for this I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and it's different but it's good to be different it's good to see different things in the marketplace and let's see how it performs over time and and what the responses are to it. So hope it gives you a better insight to this Nike Goalkeepers Glove. It's now available on our website, great-save.com. And if you've got any other questions about the glove, pop them in the, in the uh, comments box below. I will endeavour to, to answer as many as I can. And I'm sure other people from around the world will jump on and answer questions as well and give feedback. So it'd be great to get your thoughts on it. Thanks for watching this video.